I bought a defective Harman Kardon AVR 130 to that goes in protect mode seconds after power on to see if I can fix it. I managed to solve the protect mode issue not knowing that there were other issues. Protect mode can be triggered hoarded speaker terminals, excessive heating of the power transistors, and DC voltage in the speaker terminal output. Detected 12 volts DC on the front left and front right speaker terminals and traced the issue to the operational amps or op amps for these channels. Disconnected the op amp circuit, stopping protect mode from activating, removed the signal coupling capacitors C389 and C390 to isolate the problem. Tested signal by touching signal input pins of CN12 to the preamp and confirmed humming sound output. Confirmed op amps IC21 and IC25 were causing the DC voltage issue and replaced the faulty op amps with spare parts from my old AVR's defective input board. Reinstalled the input board and reconnected inputs and speakers. Tested audio output, good sound from left, center and surround speakers but no sound from right speaker. Tested signal by touching a coupling capacitor for the right speaker that produced a loud hum on right speaker. Identified a problem with input signal processing controlled by IC20. No audio output on right channel caused by an intermittently open SM resistor connected to the input pin of IC21. Bypassed a faulty 5.1K SM resistor by connecting a parallel resistor to fix the front right channel temporarily. Remaining issues. Input sources only worked in stereo or surround off mode. Not in surround modes like Logic 7, DSP, Dolby, or DTS. Suspected problem with the surround processor IC20 power supply to IC20 was functioning. Hard reset and reflowing solders didn't fix the issue and IC20 barely warmed up, indicating possible internal connection problems. Unable to find online solutions for this problem. Finally, I tested and validated the repurposed amplifier connected a 6-channel audio source to 6CH direct input of the amplifier using a digital 5.1 W or DTS audio decoder. Tested sound output and adjusted volume controls. Monitored for any unexpected issues like overheating or burning smell, there was none. Everything worked using 6CH direct input including the remote control reassembled the unit and further tested the new functionality. There were no other issues observed. If you need more details, please read my blog, 